I gather Katherine Hepburn is somebody you'd be happy to run into on the street again, or professionally. Didn't she sort of, uh, uh, there's a story that went around for a time that she came and saw you in a play in London before you were known, before Lawrence of Arabia, and that shortly after that, wherever you went, people said, I heard about you from Katherine Hepburn. Is that vaguely the line of the, how it, it, it went? Totally, she... I have a daughter called Kate. Mm -hmm. My named after Kate Hepburn. Yes, I was in a, a play in London, and, uh, uh, Oh, here we go again. Uh, <laughs> dear. As you know, you, you were an actor. Uh, well. <laughs> dressing rooms aren't all they should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, bathrooms are usually quite some distance away. And uh, it was after the show, and uh, I'm looking for a refined way of saying I was uh, Let's see, uh, and, uh, maybe I can help you with that. Uh, uh, what about, um, I was putting the cat out. Yeah. Uh, and a voice said, my name is Kate Hepburn. <laughs> and I, I had to do, pretend to do fine things with a washing machine. <laughs> and I was introduced to her and met her, and she, she was, in fact, I think, directly responsible for me getting the part of Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah. But she did discover you doing this peculiar... Well, she, I don't think she ever... <laughs> and then went around raving about you. Um... Yeah. I'm sorry. I, she arrived I in, in Ireland three weeks ago, unannounced. Yeah. And my, one of my daughters thought it was the local gypsy woman coming up the stairs. Kate, what? Wait, I mean, I, she really carries something with her. What can I say? I mean, I, I say all the cliches in the world. I mm -hmm. have, I mean, I love her. I, I have nothing but total admiration and affection for her, and I really do. I, I would do anything for her, and I, oh, everything that anybody says about her is quite true. That, um, she's one of the most remarkable women I know, and. Uh, Oh dear, what can I say? I just... Oh, there's one thing people don't know. She has a, a right hook. In the boxing sense? In, in the boxing chicken sense. Chicken. She once arrived in my caravan while we were making the line in winter. And she said, you Irish mutt, and, and took a great dig at me. And I, I ducked that one. She said, I've worked with the biggest Irish mutt of all times. That was Spencer Tracy, but you are a bigger Irish mutt. And, I duck, ducked that one again, and then finally she got me with the third one right on the ear. And I, uh, I don't know why. I do know why. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, 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 I didn't know why at the time, but I, I dressed up, I put blood on my ear and a splint and walked onto the set. And, uh, and she said, never mind, pig. She calls me the pig. P-I-G? Uh, P-I-G. I, I only hit the people I love. So I said, I recommended to her that she should hate me for the rest of the picture. <laughs> At least till the movie's over. <laughs> yeah. What had you done? Um, well, I, I think she thought that the makeup man, if she was doing a close-up, was in fact in my dressing room having a nip. He probably was. <laughs> <laughs> Little sherbet. Sure,